Bridget's number 10. Number 10. I'm Bridget. And I'm Dana. Today we're going to be talking about sales in relation to personal development and yeah, so I think this is the very important side of sales, like from the how to build your confidence, is right? If you are trying to sell something, you need to be very certain about what you're selling, about who you are, how you present yourself, and it's also part of like how you build yourself. Yeah, and your business as a brand, as a strong brand. Because in essence, no matter what you do, every single person has to do some form of selling. So if you have to do selling, you may as well learn to the best of your ability how to actually sell in order to get clients, right? And to make yeah. money. You need to be, you know, there's a thin line between how you build your self-confidence to actually being like a bit cocky. Yeah, kind of, because you or don't want to be perceived like that. Like cost, no, no offense to car, car salespeople, no <laughs> offense. It's just a term, it's just a term. But you know that car salesy, like you don't want to be too pushy. You just want to educate, build the relationship, but be confident in what it is you're doing, right? It is, because even if, when you go to do some shopping, right, and you got that salesperson that come and sit here for you, do you need help? Even when you eat in a restaurant and you got that person that comes like, do you need more? Do you need more? What else? What else? What else? Like you all don't the time. want to upselling. You yeah. need to find a thin line between like selling it to upselling it, and yes. also it's part like how you build yourself and how you push yourself to the right place. That yeah. you know you're gonna be aligned with who you are as a person mm. and like what's your skills and how you push yourself outside of your comfort zone. Yeah, but still be kind of you know to be aligned with yourself authentic. and not over. Yeah, authentic. So from a personal development perspective, I would say that sales is very much around building your self confidence, your self esteem. And one of the ways I was actually at Toastmasters last night. Really, it was a fan <laughs> fantastic. It's an it's an amazing organization. And something like that, you know, if you are somebody that is doing public speaking or you are presenting, you need to upskill yourself in order to feel confident. To stand up there, and even if you know your product, you need to be able to be confident in what it is you're communicating to people. But that's right? the thing; it needs to be it needs to be aligned. Like you need mm -hmm. to know your products, but you also need to be able to speak it out because it's not going to help you if you know your product or your service, but you actually freeze and freezing and you cannot mm -hmm. say anything. Um, so you need to be having this too. But also, like I do believe that you also need to learn about your clients or like your target audience. Yes. So you can put yourself, tailor it all together. Yeah, and you're putting yourself in the right places. There's no point in trying to promote or market yourself. I, I mean, I'll give you an example. I I decided to be part of the expo in Johannesburg, which is coming up um, on Thursday. And to cut a long story short, decided actually why market myself in Joburg when I'm based in Cape Town. So through that, they've asked me to be on their panel at the summit. So I'm on a panel of experts with nice. health and thank you Yay. with health and wellness <laughs> professionals all around business development, developing yourself, how to develop your business. So that's so in line with my market. You know, people that want to develop themselves plus they're in health and wellness. But it is. But you learn how to push yourself to do things that you're not feeling comfortable. And yes. Like, and we said it from the beginning. What we do now for us, like if you look at the first time we started it, and we now have ten. So by the way, if you like it, just a like, give us a heart. Share it, comments, like we learning out of it a lot. But even big for growth. us, big growth. Like, yeah. we learned, like the first night, I think we both couldn't sleep. Yes. <laughs> like excited and nervous. Yeah. And yeah, now yeah. we enjoyed it. It's like nice and fun. But that's yeah. our now way to push friend. yourself. It's like, it it's like our friend. friend. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. You need to push yourself, you especially do. in sales. And I can say it from a different perspective. Like when I used to do marketing and then I went to try to touch a bit of a sales, I remember like, Giving out to do a presentation, like mm. in, for a big audience, I'll be fine. But then to pick up the phone and try to sell by phone and get a meeting, yes. I was struggling in the beginning. And Words I remember, like, come out. I remember I was sitting like in front of the phone and I'm looking at it and staring at it. It's like, no, no, you need to do it, you need to do it, you need to push yourself. And then you're chewing here, not here. I was really, work. and the moment I did the first phone call, that is like I was on a roll. Yeah. But it's also like how you push yourself and not giving up and doing something just to get it and that's the thing in sales if you want to push yourself build you your self-confidence yeah, yeah and you won't get anything out of it and again and, and if I look for the marketing side of it like it's how you build yourself as a brand do I want to build myself as a, a brand that like I don't know how to push myself like you know we look at our side 
if I won't be confident in what I do, if you won't be confident in what you do, who will want to work with us? Nobody. And that's how we build ourselves as yeah. a brand. Like we build ourselves now as two strong, independent females that knows exactly what they do. We're always in a place that we're always learning. So what we say here is what we teach and we are aligned with it all the time. So are you doing the same? And yeah. that's how you what see yourselves. Yeah, and, and looking at yourselves and going, okay, so how many how many new clients do I need to get? What amount is it what is that gonna what is that gonna require? What amount of time, energy, money do I have to spend in doing that? And how do I have to develop myself? You know, what what courses do I need to go on? People do public speaking courses, it's great. You go into meetup. Meetup is fantastic. There's a million and one different courses you can go on, workshops you can attend, some free, some not. But if you're wanting to get better, you need to actually find a way to develop yourself. It is, and also like if you look for the side of uh, when you do uh, sales, a lot of the sales people are afraid even to prepare a presentation or to share yes. a presentation. And like, why do you need to be afraid of that? Yes, so maybe there's not something you used to, like a marketing person, and I used to see it a lot uh, in my previous job, that like, yes, I'm coming from marketing, so it's easy for me to prepare a presentation quickly and to present it. Mm -hmm. But because I use this as my guideline to the meeting, and for them it's something that is outside of the comfort zone and they're not used to. But push yourself. So even if you need to go and ask, like, let's say if you're not a business owner, um, and you work for a company and you want to do it, you want to succeed better yourself. But even if you commission for someone to teach you. But even if you're commission, I mean, even if you don't, if you, if you don't have a business owner, but you're, you're a commission-based earner, you still need to generate sales. True. So in most, and a lot of industries, even if you are employed, you still have to go out there and get the client, get the business, build a relationship, maintain it. So you need that self-confidence. You need to feel that, and you need to believe in what you're selling. You need to believe in your product because there is nothing is. worse. People can see it and can, they can feel it on yes. you. If you don't believe in your products, if you don't believe in the company you work for, or like in what you do for yourself, people can feel it. And then you, because people buy from people. That's yes. the message in marketing. People buy from people. You, you know, it's easy for us to always hide behind our Facebook now and our keyboards and try to, and I think that's what we spoke about previous time how you need to, you know, you measure yourself and you need to put yourself, okay, every day I need to contact two people and do something, or do something out about. of the comfort zone, not, exactly. not comfortable, yeah, yeah, it's going so to be a little bit uncomfortable. What do you do about that? Okay, so how can I push myself to do that? Like if I need to, so let's say I put myself as a target to reach out to three people a day, mm -hmm. so do I reach out to, I don't know, like three by Facebook and maybe one by email campaign, yeah, do cold calling, like, you need to make sure that you know exactly what you're what doing you, and you're you pushing planning. yourself. Yeah. So yeah, so as we said, and I think we spoke about it, like that you can split it, right? To say, let's say 80% of what I do is what I do in my comfort zone, but 20% yeah, is I'm pushing 20, yeah. myself. Exactly. So you don't need to do like all the time push out yourself. No, because every day you might feel like you're having a heart attack and you don't want to kill no, yourself no, you in the process, right? <laughs> <laughs> you just you want to push yourself, you don't want to kill yourself. So just a little bit of a little bit of a push. And also another thing that makes the smarter is what I love is that so these these speakers are phenomenal. They really, really are. And you kind of sit there in the audience going, Oh my gosh, I couldn't actually I couldn't because these people are amazing. And then they have a part where you they hand out pieces of paper and you can choose whether you want to do an approach or not. And I'm a huge believer in standing in my fear and just doing it. And both times where I've gone, I've gone, yes, 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 I'll do it, I'll do it. And I sat up there and, and you know, I kind of wing it because it's an impromptu and you don't know, but it just makes you that much more confident the next time. So I've done it twice. I'm going to join. I'm going to keep remember. I'm going to keep doing it. And yes, I'm going to get too many ums, too many so's, too many But you know what, Daryl's got a good point. He said that some people are also afraid from rejections. Yeah, and um, yes. we're all gonna get rejected. But you know what I always tell myself? Like no matter what you do, even on a relationship wise or whatever you decide, like you're gonna get like the no someday. is already there. Yeah. The no is already yeah. there. So you can only get a yes and be surprised. So you've got nothing to lose. No. And what's a no? So what somebody doesn't want you, someone doesn't like you, somebody doesn't think you're great, that's okay. But it's fine, but also when you've got a business, some of the clients will say, yes, I want to work with you. And some like they change their mind or they don't want to work with you. Yep. And it's fine. Not everyone needs to like you and love you. And Actually, I think if everyone does like you, there's a fundamental problem. Yeah, because you're probably adjusting your job and pleasing yes, yourself Yes, because much. you haven't created your identity. <laughs> you want to have your tribe, people that think you're amazing and vice versa. If everyone likes you, then are you are you just sitting on the fence? Whereas no, if you stand for something and you believe in something and you are standing in your truth, 
you, you're going to have people that love you and people that don't, and that's great. It is, but you know what you learn? Because if someone doesn't like you or like doesn't feel a connection with people. you, so they're not your people, and you don't yep. want them as your clients. And it's again like on a marketing side, but you, it's like when people say like, like what's the difference? Like okay, well I do that activity if everyone is doing it. But it's the same if you look at cars. You have got so many brands for cars, so why do you choose one on another? when eventually, mm. they do the same thing. They takes you from point A to point B. Yeah. So what's the difference? But to one, you feel a better connection versus the other one. There's yeah. something over there. And that's how you want your clients. You want your clients to feel a connection to you. Exactly. And working with you. Because they, as we spoke about before, they've got it sharing the same values as you. Yes. See things in a, in a different way. Like, you know, like you want someone to be it has to be that to connection. So I think if we were going to look at something like today from a sales perspective, if there's just one thing from personal development, really look at building your self-confidence what are their ways and what can you do to build your self-esteem build your self-confidence because that from a personal development will massively help your sales it is and from our marketing what would you say but it's the same like yeah like everything like i always say when you build a brand you are basically promising something to your mm. clients so, so delivery is what are you yeah. promising to your clients and are you gonna be able to stick to it and deliver it because you don't want to build a brand <gasps> oh, promise and to deliver. Deliver. Exactly. no that's no, no go because yeah. that's how you're gonna destroy your brand in a second mm -hmm. so no matter how much money you will invest and how much effort you can ruin it in a second if you do something that's not supporting your brand promise yes and building your confidence is part of it because eventually people buy from people and if you don't know how to reach out to people and don't know how to communicate with them. Yes. I think that's why uh, our next topics will be again around sticking, this, sales. Stick, sticking about sales, but from different angles. Yeah. So now we're speaking about the side of the confidence side, but also the planning side of it. And maybe if you if you're up to the challenge, daily <laughs> or depending if you're introvert extrovert, because I, I know that does make a massive difference. So depending on where you're at, but maybe daily or just in the next week. Just do something that takes you 20%. Just 20% out of your comfort zone. 20% is not a big, but it's enough for you to go, well done, to yourself. Acknowledgement and self-talk is so powerful. So acknowledging what you've done and congratulating yourself. And you know what? I'll add to that. Very so important. if you put yourself as a target, things that you want to do to push yourself out, yeah. out of your comfort zone, but if you need help to stick to it, Share it with a friend or two. Yes, because so they will, they will you be. So it's like when you do a diet yes. and you go to some organization that they check the spells. It's yes. because that's what forces you because you know someone's gonna check on me. So just yeah. get to, share it with like a friend or two, mm. and they will check up on you. Have you done this? Have you pushed yourself? Yes, and that will be a better way for you to actually grow Stay in the process and be accountable. Yeah, you know, I remember I had a I had a manager that used to tell me that. Whenever I felt like insecure about something I've done, so she said, "Listen, this is your project. You do what you do, and if it's gonna work, well done. If it's not gonna work, just be accountable for it yeah. and learn the lesson for next time. And I'm not gonna tell you what's not and what's not. Mm. That's how you're gonna learn. And you know what? She actually did me the biggest favor. Yeah, because it pushed me to do things outside of my comfort zone. You just to actually daily. stop looking for confirmation and yeah. like from everyone all the time. Daily, weekly, little challenges." So we've now we have cut we've cut these down to fifteen minutes because we've kind of learned through the experience that fifteen minutes so we is we also learning. <laughs> we are. And we think fifteen minutes is, is good. We're gonna work with that. And if that has to change, then that can change too. It's totally flexible. And again, if you got any feedback, please feedback, share with that's us. That's how we see it. So yeah. share with us. And as I said before, give us a like, give us a heart. I'm gonna teach you to do the heart and give me Yes. <laughs> so give us the one. Yeah. Just give us any type of Something. reaction because we, love we do that. learn and we love people participating and like it's, it's an true. open discussion for us. So feel free. And yeah, so Next if you're going to try to sum it up about what we spoke about. Self-confidence, baby steps, 20% of your comfort zone. Just maybe one thing a day if you can. It can be in any area, personal, professional, in all areas, yeah, 20%, 20% guys, not it's a lot, not a lot, but it you makes know, you feel like you can take over the world. It is because you know, mm. every time you do something that is outside of your comfort zone, you're blown you away. Like the oh, well done, yes, yeah. and you must, you must go, Well done, I'm amazing, you've got to do that. Yeah, we, 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 we do that because so <laughs> <laughs> thanks to you guys, we are yes. actually getting over the 600 uh, views of our podcast, which yeah. is amazing. So, we're chuffed, so so thank you for well supporting done. us, we thank love you. it. So, yes. thank you, thank you, thank you. And, and it is like remember, like uh, having your own business, it's a roller coaster. 
you're up yeah. and you're down. So if you're not going to push yourself, if you're going to be in the same or place, if you're not going to believe in yourself, no one else will. No. So you're no. just going to go, Whoop. you're not going to go is. back up when the roller coaster goes down because you're going to go, well, they say I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. What's the point? And, and you are. So you you know, got, you've got this, you know, and all the rest. And right. don't see it as a pre- Like sometimes we also see it as a pressure because like, yeah. I remember on my side where people go, oh, no, I'm sure you will be successful and blah, blah, blah. Like, no pressure at all but you know but that's, that's actually what pushed me even more yes uh, to you say you've got it yeah so so do it yes give up. and our next topic will also be around sales, sales but from the side of the planning side of it yes because it is important to know how to plan so how you, first you build your confidence you build yourself you're making sure that it's not over mm. uh, and now you need to plan right so you can start bringing the right business opportunities for you and then Bring the topic after that will be hard to win them, basically. Yes. With the mix of all of them. Get those clients. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Have a great week. We'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Yep. Thanks, guys. Bye.